It's Summer, welcome back to the channel. It's pretty windy. Well, welcome back everybody. I know it's been a really long time and I had school, Lucas had school, but now we're done and it's summertime. We have a lot, a lot, a lot planned. Today we're gonna crank out two videos and then we're gonna actually start building our cars finally. It's gonna be so much fun. Stick along, we'll see ya. First ones of the summer. I don't know what to say. <laughs> FTB. You like that V8 power? It's so big, why? <laughs> so today, we picked up from online, we got a catch can and a cold air intake because it needs it, I guess. Anyway, it's a giant, I don't know if you can see this, there's a huge air box here that's just gonna limit the, the hell out of its airflow. Look at this cone! So, I don't know if you guys can see, but these are Mopar parts, so uh, we got some, they got some quality for their uh, stuff. I'm gonna bleep that out probably. Just keep doing it myself, my acting career. Instructions. Nah, he said you. <laughs> Alright, we, well, so, so do we know what we're doing? Nope. I mean, kind of. Yeah, we did it. Okay, hey, we did yeah. it on that. We kind of do, we do. We do. We're gonna start out by removing this screw and then removing this hose and then slowly taking apart this box and lifting it out. So we got the fat box off and look at this. Just a lot of restrictions here, okay? So the next step you're gonna need is to take this bolt off. We're using an eight mil and that works pretty well. And uh, then we'll see from there. After you get the thing out, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna do the, the good old fist test just to make sure it works properly. Yeah, it seems to be working well. All right, so not gonna lie, this Mopar one's a little confusing. We're working on it though. You need a rubber bushing off of this one and then use a supplied hardware to uh, to connect to something on there. Well, I'll tell you in a little bit. Okay, so we figured it out. We're gonna take this little rubber or metal piece right there and then you're gonna have one of your nuts and you're gonna thread it through like that and then put your little thingy on, oh what, yep, on top right there. <laughs> Give a little rub and then you're good to go. And try not to let frustrating get the best of you, but you're gonna try to finesse this little piece in there. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah, uh, that. Okay. First project that we are attempting when we're back from school here. Uh, like I said, we have more stuff lined up and we have to install a catch can later in the same video. But next week we have another one with tinting and stuff with the G8. As Lucas gracefully models for us, we're gonna put this little like uh, connection piece, connection piece, adapter hose, as they call it. And then you're gonna use four of these little boys, and you're gonna thread them in and secure that to the box. Then you're, then you're, then you're, then you're good. Sometimes when shit's taking forever, as a good helper, you should just take a nap. Okay. So now we're done with the box, working on that, and. Where's our cone? Oh, blend oh, in with your shirt. <laughs> yep, yep. 80 80, you win anything? Mm -hmm. Oh, our instructions are trying to run away. Bye. Okay. Damn, that's a beast. Get a cone, cone pick? Praying position. Ooh. Shout out, Ethan. Whoa. <laughs> okay, oh, onto the cone. No, no, no. Eat your, oh. oh, shit. Make sure you guys eat this thing on there and uh, you should be good with your filter. Okay. You just, okay. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> mm. No wonder they made this one. Attach your hose and then uh, put your filter in, tighten it down, and then we're gonna throw the box in the car. Uh, secure secure the box to the car and then we should be good to go and we'll get a first sound and hopefully get a little like squeal out of it. I don't know, that'd be kinda cool. Now we have the intake in, we hooked up the clamp, hooked up or tightened that bolt, and then there's one little rubber piece in the back, they have to make sure it fits in a hole. But now we should be good to go, and let's listen to it. All right guys, here's gonna be the first startup with the new intake on. Maybe we can hear some like squeak, I don't even know it. Just, we'll see what we hear. You can definitely hear a little like squeaking on the 
once he gets the throttle. That, that sounds good. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with us for this cold air intake install. It looks good. It's a great thing to add to your car. Might as well. I mean, it's not too expensive and it makes it sound really cool. Maybe even makes exhaust deeper. I don't know. Um, but thanks for checking us out. Please like the video. It really helps us out. And subscribe if you want to. We'll see you guys at the next one.